Okay, you join uh, WD Sports. It's uh, Scott W and uh, Pete Dudley guesting for WD Sports. Uh, we're with the Wakering boss, Ian O'Connell. We're Ian, uh, another tough battle for you in searing heat today, but you did the job. Yeah, they were, they were, they were brilliant. Um, we were celebrating Saturday night because we had our presentation night, so I think some of them were sweating <laughs> lager tops out there. Um, <laughs> It smells of alcohol in the changing room. So they, they did well, but the thing is, it, it, it was strange because I thought they might come stronger second half because the boys' leg might run out, but we actually got stronger and stronger, but for their keeper, mm. I think we'd have won by six, maybe maybe more. Maybe. Yeah, I was going to say, I, mean, I, was, I just said to you just off camera, Maisie, their keeper kept them yeah. in it. Because uh, Richmond had what, three, got to, took one of them, but yeah. had, he took all three good others as well, didn't he? He did, he? yeah. So, he, he, he made some great saves, though. They weren't bad misses. I mean, the only one Neil's probably worried about, I mean, he did everything, like, headed it down, but he actually bounced and went over yeah. the bar, which I haven't seen that from that close up. But Neil, Neil's like, he'll always score a goal, um, and he was probably unlucky not to get a few more today. Yeah, it was the Silverbridgeworth boss, uh, John Waters. Um, John, that was a real battle out there today, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it's tough conditions. Uh, very, very up. Uh, yeah. I can't fault the boys. They give, they've given me literally everything they could. Just in the end, they had that one bit of quality that got the goal. I know, I know. In the end, my keeper got man of the match. But I think when you're pushing, because you're losing, and the end you're tired, they're going to create a couple of chances. But overall, I can't really ask much more from them today and in these conditions they give me everything so that's all I can no, no, really say I think as a manager it's so hot out there today I mean it's, it's hot enough watching you in the stands so <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I mean it's... to play in it it must be <laughs> to give them all like that and, they, and I was going to say you must, as I said you must be so proud the way they, they I mean they more than gave away for the game you knew you would I mean you, we all knew that you would because I've yeah, seen, you know what side you exactly. are I just think, so. think like I said we didn't get that bit of luck I mean yeah. a couple of people said to me it was touch and go for our Right near the end, with a with oh, the header back, don't. maybe. But then, sometimes you, you 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 create your own luck. And today, we did, I just don't think you know we just didn't have that, that last bit. We huffed and puffed, but we just didn't have that last bit in the end in that final yeah. third where you need it. You know, they're, like I said, they're, they're league champions for a reason. So exactly. that's yeah. that's the thing. So and this this is a perfect send off, if you like, for, from the senior leagues. No, um, it's quite personal in a way as well because Robert Errington. I've been friends with Robert for years. Um, he's been friends of the clubs for years, and obviously I knew Margaret really well. Um, so it's nice when Robert is retiring that our name's going to be on it the year he retires. Um, it's because, um, as I say, Margaret was she was a lovely, lovely lady, yeah, and uh, yeah. and obviously Robert he's, he's just the biggest gentleman you're ever going to meet. He's lovely, yeah, yeah. so um, it was quite nice to win it. Well, obviously the first year under the area to name as well. Exactly, yeah, that's, yeah, that's so, what I mean, yeah, first year and we're on there, so. Yeah, so can't be bad, can it? As I said, um, looking forward, I mean, obviously, looking back on the season, uh, this is the second final in a row. Don't yeah. mind you've lost yeah. them both. But lost them both, one nil, <laughs> yeah. You've got, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you've got to the finals, they're, they're hard to get to, and obviously you, you finished eighth in the league, and uh, um, you had a pretty decent second half of the season. To be fair, from Christmas onwards, I can't fault them. Yeah. I can't fault them. Like, up to Christmas, we had had injuries. We had built a squad that we thought were capable of challenging and then got cherry-picked because I'll, I'll openly admit we have no money and it's just, mm. it's just hard. You build a squad yeah. and people come and took them. But to be fair to them, since Christmas, I asked them to raise it, the boys we had. They might not, you know, some people don't think some of them are as, as the level we had last year but one thing they give me is they give me everything and since Christmas so I can't fault them we went from third bottom to come yeah. to be eighth we got to a final yeah. and they, they were a good group and I said to them they got, it's hard we, it happened last year we've got to use it you know we're, we're, we're not far off so um, um well, like going in, what, what, plan, what plans have you got for the summer and for that obviously now you're all yeah. back in the Bostick League yeah we, we so. it started already I mean lucky enough I was rang up uh, by the South End manager Chris Powell the other day and he just said what a fantastic job he'd done. He, he, was, he was unbelievable. He was just, all he kept talking about was, was what a great job Wakefield yeah. had done this year. He didn't really mention how well he'd done. And I said, Chris, you know, you did make a record. You were the first South End United manager to ever win three games on the spin, you know, <laughs> yeah. when you start. And uh, such a gentleman. But he wants to come over to us on the 7th of July. So, um, right. yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be massive because Steve Tilson was the first one. Um, because I, I rang Steve years, I think it was 12 years ago, and asked him if he'd come and um, play a friendly, and he yeah. did that, and it, and it really helped the club. Yeah. Um, and but 
for the last two years it's gone missing. I don't know why, um, but but it's back on again now. Well, it's great that non-league is being recognised in that way in the local area, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's maybe the uh, coverage we've had in the pay because we, you know, we've done the double this year now. Yep. Um, so uh, maybe in the league below, um, maybe professional club wouldn't really want to come and play us, so I don't know, but but now we've, we've gone back into the Bostic League now, so yeah, we're looking forward to that. A little bit of work in the summer, maybe get a couple of young additions, because that's the rest of where we've got to go, because we haven't got the finances to, to bring in your Richards, your Dubries, your, your lads no, exactly. like that, that, you know, we've got boys who score goals, but mm. they, you know, when you've got four, four quality centre forwards like these boys have got, it's just, you know, to, I like what, like, like, it's against, up against it, the, yeah, you know, and yeah. we've just got to keep working, but... Small steps, it's getting there, but yeah. it's not, not been the world's worst season, if I'm honest. No, no, so, no, no, absolutely. In fact, I think we should congratulate you on the upturn you've had, and congrats on getting that top 10 finish. Yeah, no, I, I was pleased with the boys, because I, I thought with the group we had, we were we were a top, easily a top 10 side, maybe pushing sixth with what we had this year. And I think if we'd had the group we had in the summer all season, and like what the attitude we had now, I think we'd have been up there, but when you lose you like your Gav Cotman's, yeah. your people like that, he got 36 goals for us last year. He's a match winner on his own, and that's, and that's the yeah. problem. When you lose these players... How do you it, replace them? Yeah. It's, how do you, how, there's not many Gav Cotman's around, right. you know that's what I mean? Him, it's almost so. impossible to replace someone like that, yeah. Exactly, so... Indeed. But we go again. Oh, yeah, exactly, that's all you can do. So, uh, um, uh, so is the squad you're going to... I hear some, there, there was someone said might be retiring in somewhere. One or two, one person said he might retire for yeah. Spurs. I mean, uh, yeah. he's 37 now, but he's been he's been immense, especially so, yeah. second half of the season after because he had a knee up at Christmas. Yeah. Second half of the season since he's been fit. Um, the nucleus, speaking to the boys before the final, I would have thought probably 90 percent of the boys would be. Here. We've got a good few good young additions that have got the potential coming in that we've sort of lined up um, so be a bit younger but it gives us something to work with and, and we're, we're rebuilding the whole club like the reserves Absolutely. this year of, you know Andy and Tony have done a good job but they, they want to go and do their own thing we're going a lot younger we've got a new under 18s midweek side which is going to help bring it so yeah. We're going to be young, but we'll be we'll be competitive, and we'll be looking to maybe go a few places. I maybe change, depends. See how we go. See how you start next yeah. season. Yeah. we need a good start because the last two years <laughs> yes. we've had an absolute shocking start, and then like <laughs> last year we come up the hills and we were nearly there. Come like sort of joint fourth, and you thought we weren't far off of it. If we had a good start this year, we had another terrible start. But second half of the season we seem to kick on from Christmas. So if I can get <laughs> up to Jan up to Christmas, yeah. a little, little bit better, a yeah. little bit. Better. Even if we cut half of it, because we look at half. I think we we lost 15 games in the same as Clapton. Mm. You'd cut half them silly results out of before Christmas. Yeah. We'd have been oh, in the yeah, top four exactly. or five and yeah. maybe had a sniff of maybe nicking an outside promotion. You never, you never know, know. but like it just killed us early doors. So. Yeah. Well, we wish you well. Uh, I wish you well uh, for uh, for next season. Yeah. Thank you very Thanks. much. So do I, yeah, thank definitely, you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank well you. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks very much. Much. Well, thank you for your time. Cheers, John. boys. And much appreciated. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.